Jeff. In staffs. Excellent adventure. Yes. How you guys doing? I hope everyone's doing good. We are having a eventful spring this year. Yeah. And a lot of fun. And we have a big announcement to make. What is that? Well, it's Stephanie? exciting for us. It's probably not going to be as exciting for everybody watching, but it's... Wait a minute, do I know what it is? Yes, you do. Oh. Yeah. So, Jeff and I have purchased an RV pad and coach house Something. in the great state of Texas. Something we thought we'd never do. We had no intentions of ever doing that. And through our travels for the past 10, 11 months, uh, we thought about it more and talked to more full-time RVers and thought, hey, maybe this is something we should look into or consider. And we, we had noticed that a lot of uh, other YouTubers mm -hmm. have been purchasing, and friends of ours have been purchasing land and uh, other types of, I don't know, was it just land or? Land or um, small houses, tiny yeah. houses and stuff, something to call a home base. So we started looking around and contacting some people and we ended up finding something that was just perfect for Jeff now, and I. Now what was our requirements as um, far as? We wanted an RV pad that had full hookups and long enough to fit our fifth wheel and truck and some sort of out building or small building or storage. Um, we actually got really lucky by finding all of this plus a coach house. And which, don't, don't forget that we wanted to be in a place that's warm. Yes. Oh, in the southern the big part of me. the country for yeah. sure. Yeah. And we ended up finding a property with a double full RV pad with hookups and a coach house or some places call them casita homes. But it's a coach house that is almost 300 square feet. So it's like the size of our fifth wheel. So so just to back this up a little bit, we, ha we had a, a plan for three locations that we consider buying at. And one was the Yuma, Arizona in general, but we really enjoyed our time in Yuma. Yeah. Yuma was beautiful. So um, as far as winter weather, um, it was beautiful there. Uh, the other places that we, we thought of was um, Texas, preferably Southern Texas, and of course Florida. Uh, every place else was kind of cold. Um, or they were in areas of the country that see a lot of hurricanes or storms, and we were trying to be somewhere where uh, we were a little bit safe from the, those kind of weather things happening. Um, Is there any place safe no. these days no. with this weather that we get now? No. <laughs> so, so we didn't even consider forest fires. No. Um, did we consider tornadoes? Mm -hmm. No. A, a little. A little bit. Yeah. 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 But mainly we Flooding. wanted to be somewhere warm and um, to be able to winter here and somewhere that was maybe a little, somewhere fun, maybe by coastlines or something, just, you know, for certain reasons, which we'll get into. So why don't we talk about these reasons of yeah. um, how we came to this conclusion about this is what we wanted to do. And again, this is not something that um, we ever planned on doing. It was right. kind of evolved over time. Yes. Um, with, with the world and things that are going on in the world and uh, what we've learned as full-time RVers in general. And we understand this isn't something for everyone, but for us in this stage of our life, um, which we'll get more into, it was... What do you mean? This, you saying we're old? Yeah. <laughs> Not that old. Well, we're kind of old. So. Yeah. We're, we're kind of... All right, anyway. So we were looking for a home base, basically. That was our number one requirement. We wanted somewhere where we could come we could be at in the winters when weather's cold or inclement weather. Um, something that was 
Something Maybe you just pop central, into. Yeah. yeah, central in the country. Um, it was easy. I have all my family on the West Coast and Jeff's family is from the East Coast. So we were looking something that was central enough to go either direction. But but not central north, like this way to that way, this way, because it had to be central south. warm. <laughs> so it had to be south. Yeah. So our second reason. Well, you know, this whole thing's been kind of an irritation, if nothing else, but the whole pandemic thing has been a bit of a nightmare for um, everybody yeah. in the country. And uh, and that does not exclude our viewers and full-time our viewers who suffered a lot during uh, the whole COVID pandemic, not being able to get into parks, stay at parks, um, yeah, the initial... getting kicked out because of the uh, COVID or the Rona and not knowing where to go because they didn't have a house. They didn't have anywhere else to go. And this goes back to the initial response from uh, state and federal governments where everything was getting so locked down, everybody was afraid, you know, everyone was gonna catch it from each other that some campgrounds literally closed. Yeah, Others were, were doing like every other space was empty, which cut spaces in half for travelers. There was a lot of travelers that were really, you know, sweating it out trying to find a place to go. And uh, we didn't really want to be in that situation. And obviously, the way this pandemic was handled, there's a good chance there'll be another one. Yeah, and this can happen again. Yeah. So we thought, well, we need some place where we could call home or somewhere we can go and park and be during those times. Yeah. Um, another reason was just we wanted to winter somewhere warm. So we went over that before. That was really important to us to be somewhere warm. We didn't want to have snow and ice. And we understand that everywhere gets that sometimes, that cold weather. But generally, we wanted to be somewhere that was going to be sunny and uh, no freezing temperatures. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Yeah. And, of course, we wanted a place with, with a certain amount of amenities. And anybody that's RV knows, just we, knows the difference between an RV park and RV resort or what is considered a resort. Mm -hmm. And uh, some of these places are pretty bad and some of them are pretty decent. So we wanted to make sure if we were gonna actually buy something that it was something that actually had things to do, uh, close to, you know, everything. Yeah, uh, you know, Swimming looking. pool. Uh, yeah, swimming pool, uh, community, a sense of community and just activities. Uh, we have four children that are adult children, but when they come to visit or we plan visits, it's nice to be able to have things to do around you. Sure. Mm -hmm. and, and we like to do stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And that brings us to our next point. This was really important for us. We needed somewhere for family and kids and friends to stay if they were to come visit us. You can only have so many bodies in an RV at a time yeah, before you go it's crazy. Really, it's really too small for people to stay in. Yeah. At least that's our, our feeling about it. But, you know, initially we were really, we, we would have been really happy with just an RV pad and mm -hmm. having our, our kids and family fly down. We, we were just going to put them up in a hotel. So yeah. getting a little uh, uh, mini house, tiny house, yeah. seat or whatever, um, was all bonus. Um, for sure. And we're not really, we didn't buy it to really stay in that because we very much like our Montana. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're you happy know, it's in very our, cozy. our fifth wheel, but we looked at this as another way to allow people to come visit us so we didn't have to drive to them all the time. And with having four children, we thought, hey, they can come down and stay with us. They got their own place and their own space and everyone's happy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and another thing that, you know, kind of led to this quite a bit for us was the, uh, what's going on in the, the whole world with, uh, we don't really get into the whole Ukraine-Russia thing, but a little bit we will. Um, <laughs> who knows what what the future yeah. holds for uh, the world, let alone the country. And, and between inflation and um, maybe wars or uh, shortages and stuff, we just felt like, you know, maybe if we had a place we could just stop if we ever had to. If diesel really did go to $7 a gallon or whatever, and we wanted to yeah, cut way sure. back on our travel and stuff. We could just park it and sit, and uh, it, that truck doesn't use much fuel when it's sitting there. So right. That yeah. was a, a big deal for us. Yep. Um, another 
reason we chose to do it this way is that purchasing something becomes a real estate investment and you rarely lose money on something like this and we had money from the sale of our house when we sold our house a year ago and we looked at it as hey this is a you know good investment and we own it and it, you know it's ours and it, it's so small it's not costing as much for, as far as utilities or taxes. maintenance or taxes or anything like that so but you know it's ours and you know we're, we're not losing that money just putting it in campgrounds when we're staying here it's it's more a way of shifting some money and uh and sitting on it in a different sort of way and um you know historically at least up until this point um <laughs> I mean, I've never lost money on a house I bought, we bought, <laughs> yeah. and uh, the feeling is that real estate always tends to go up over the long, the long term. So, uh, worst comes to worst, we we have an asset we can sell. Yes, for sure. But you know, I will say this. Yeah. Um, the way they're giving you a lot more money for your used vehicles, I think the trucks probably worth <laughs> yeah. twice as much. Twice as much. And we get an extra thirty grand for the camper. Yeah, so, there you uh, go. Yeah, so suddenly these things are great investments too. Yeah, so, so we're, these we're winning. Appreciating assets yeah. have become appreciating assets yeah. and we're winning. Yeah, Yay. yeah, so far. <laughs> you probably shouldn't have said that. <laughs> right, yeah. you curse yourself. Yeah, I know, I know. Uh, we also looked at the coach house as a storage place. And we have zero storage. We had sold everything when we started full timing. So we don't have anything that we really need to store. But if ever there were situations like uh, economic situations where things became really bad and you know we hear about people surplusing food and doing other stuff, we have the ability to store that and we have somewhere to keep it now. Yeah. And we're also able to unload some of the mass we carry around with us yeah. in our Yeah, we can all carry about 4,000 pounds and yeah. we get about six in there, don't we? <laughs> right. so, uh, so we're able to unload some things if we're not using them for a couple months and come back and pick them up. And that helps us to travel light and fast. And, yeah, um, for sure. Again, we're not, uh, we're not stopping RV travel and exploring and, and the whole no. Jeff and Steph's adventure. No, no, no. It's, it's more about <laughs> what we've found out is that, you know, in the winter months, which, you know, can be anywhere from three to six months, depending on how you look at it, uh, yeah. you, you may just settle in one spot. And that's kind of what we did. We were in, in southwest um, Arizona yeah, most Yuma. of the winter. Yeah. So it's kind of just shifting that uh, where we're at, our location, and uh, we're going to Now we can here. come here and sit and winter sit through the winter and hibernate and it's nice because texas is right here and then you know florida's that way arizona's that way and you know north north it's just uh location wise we're really happy with the location just because we feel like it'll give us more opportunities to explore and see other things um having being more centrally located yeah so we can plot out where we want to go Instead of starting to drive 2,000 miles just to get to a place we want to start to explore, because we've already seen it this way, we can just, you know, kind of fan out and see a lot of different things uh, from this location. So we're pretty excited about that. Yeah, Jeff and I really, we went through and looked at lots of places online and crunched numbers. And we just, we saw this as a great opportunity for us. And, you know, it is going to help us in the long run. And make traveling a little less stressful knowing that we have somewhere we can come back to or if someone wants to come visit us they can come stay here and we don't have to all crunch into the fifth wheel and for sure yeah because that's no it just, it just pay for a hotel room <laughs> yeah. and stuff you know yeah. i don't know if you know this know this but uh, did you know that hotel rooms have actually gone up i believe 40 percent or something like that yeah. over the course of the year yeah so you know everything's just more and more and more and more yeah. so yeah. um this is definitely going to work for us, and we're, we're pretty happy about it. Yeah, that. we're really excited about it. So, this coach house we purchased that is a tiny house, about 300 square feet, needed a complete redo. And we decided, Jeff being a contractor in his previous working life, and I have I a lot I of... I left that life behind. <laughs> and I have a lot of decorating slash design experience and background. We decided we were going to go ahead and take this project on. Yeah, 
Yeah. And boy, are we taking it on. Yeah. 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 It's, so, it's amazing a space that's not that big. Yeah. It's taken a lot of work. I, I guess we wanted to do it right and have it so. You know, our our vision of it was more of a, a, a hotel, like a little beach house, yeah. um, uh, bed and breakfast. I don't yeah. know what do you call those yeah. places, Airbnb. Airbnb. Yeah, we it's looked like at nice, it somewhere really nice, nice hotel to come room. stay. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like for instance, have you ever been in, a, in one of these hotels that has like a really nice bed, really nice seating, a little uh, kitchenette. mini kitchenette, you know, full, full bath, bath. Right? Yeah. And, uh, and you know, you just rip it up. Yeah. So we're having a lot of fun doing this, and we're gonna bring you guys lots of videos on this over the next few weeks. Will they be swearing? There might be some swearing, right. throwing of tools. Because we are kicking. a family show, so we're gonna have to yeah, edit. We're gonna try it's to... gonna be, editing's gonna be a challenge. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna yeah. try to keep it safe for all members, but right. um, yeah, and if you have any questions on, you know, maybe purchasing an RV pad or, you know, if you're looking at doing something like this or some land, you know, we have lots of friends and contacts and other RV people we know that are purchasing land and putting RV pads on them. So that's a thing too. And you know, we're here if you have any questions, we'd love to talk to you more For about sure. it. For sure. And uh, we hope you enjoy watching us model through the next few weeks of remodeling. Yeah, we're excited to get started on all this and stay tuned for some fun. Also, we should talk about one little other thing. Sure. Let's talk about real quick our summer travel plan because uh, it's on our it's on our YouTube channel where we're going to be and things like that yes. in the different parts. In so our uh, community page, there is a photo of our Jeff and Steph sticker here on the back of the rig, and it says our 2022 calendar. And if you click on read more, it will show you dates we're going to be in each location. And we'd love to meet up with you or see you guys. So just now let us know. And, and let's just let's just tell them kind of where we're going real yeah. quick, all right? Graceland. The king of rock and roll. Yeah. You're going to go see Elvis. Always want to see Elvis. Yeah. There may be some singing on among there, those videos. There could in be. our best uh, Elvis baritone. Yeah. yeah. We're going to see some things in Kentucky and yep. head up north and spend some time on the Great Lakes. And we'll be in New England. Niagara Falls. Yes. And Still we're going to be in New England caravanning with our friends. And then we're going to come back, head back down and do some battlefields and stuff. So stay tuned. Now, were we getting any trouble with the people we're traveling with? Mm -hmm. And they knew who we're, who we're talking about. Yes, we're talking about you guys. There could no be trouble who. with the, the caravanning people we're going with, so uh, we'll see what happens. Keep our eyes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. So stay tuned and don't forget to like, subscribe to Jeff and Steph's. Yeah. Excellent. Excellent adventure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And tell other people about the channel and the fun we're having. Yeah. We'd love to meet and hear from new people. And thanks for subscribing. We're, we're actually somewhat shocked by how well our channel's doing because uh, we're, we're, we're not that great, really. <laughs> okay. But, Take care and safe travels, everyone. See you guys soon. Bye. See ya.